this is what I'm seeing in the Pacific Heights real estate market as we sort of end the summer listing season, we transition into the fall, where we're in this really interesting four to six week gap between sort of post Labor Day, that last weekend when everybody gets out of town, they, they escape, they look for summer, they look for warmth, because San Francisco typically doesn't have it. Um, and then pre-Thanksgiving, when, when the real estate market really starts to fall off, we're in this short window where there's gonna be a frenzy of buyer activity and there already is a frenzy of buyer activity. 2020 and 2021 was really this blessing in disguise for the Pacific Heights real estate market because everybody in the city, everybody that decided that they still wanted to buy in the city, rather than sacrificing location and going for something a bit more affordable in maybe a less desirable neighborhood surrounding downtown, surrounding Pack Heights, everybody said, you know what, if I'm gonna be in the city, I'm buying in the place that I wanna buy in, I'm buying in Pack Heights. So consumer demand just skyrocketed and the single family home market averaged five million all summer, all summer. And it usually sort of fluctuates and hangs out at four and a half, it kind of rolls. It was chilling at 5 million all summer. It actually peaked for one month at like 6.4, 6.5. Um, and the condominium market too, it was, it was just a frenzy. The, the condo market's been averaging 12.30 a foot, 12.40 a foot all year. And the reason I actually bring that up is I represent, I, I had three buyers that we um, opportunistically targeted November, December of 2020 to buy condos in Pack Heights. And I, I represented three guys they, the average price we bought it for was right around 1,100 a foot and then back up to 1223, sorry, 1230 a foot, which is at now. Basically, the average saved from purchasing at that opportunistic time was about 120K per condo, which is significant. But it kind of shows you the, the cycles of the real estate calendar. So Pacific Heights specifically, where I see this neighborhood at, it's obviously always going to be highly desirable, but if you are if you have a property you need to sell, I would get it on the market right now, so you can capitalize from that frenzy of activity, um, that buyer frenzy that happens post Labor Day, pre-Thanksgiving. Whereas if you're buying, if you're looking to buy something, your best bet is actually to hang out for a second and wait until November, December, and sort of see what's on the market for two reasons. There's less competition. There really isn't a whole lot of people shopping for property at that time. And anybody that's got a property on the market in December, January, you kind of know that they have to sell it now. There's an urgency for them to sell, as opposed to being able to hold and wait until March, April, when the market sort of picks back up again. That's, that's where this sort of, that's, that's how you follow these market cycles and flows. But in general terms, I think where this market is going, once back to office, once all these major companies in San Francisco officially set their back to office date, and right now it was in September of 2021, it's kind of been pushed back to February. I think once that back to office date is solidified, there's more people in the city, there's more people floating around doing things, people have to be in San Francisco. That's when the higher price point market will get steadier because if you're spending six, seven, eight million dollars on a house, you want to know that the city is is as strong and as secure of an investment as it's ever been. And I don't really think that's gonna happen until all companies are back in office at least a handful of days a week. I obviously love diving into this data stuff. So if you have any questions, you have any specific market data questions, you have property valuation questions, feel free to email me. Um, I obviously love diving into this stuff, so I'm, I'm happy to help.